others will hurt us, and we will stay in a place of bitterness, we will stay in a place of resentment, of envy, this self-imprisonment, we're the one in shackles, and we think that's proving something to them. As if forgiveness was a gift for them. No, friends, it's a gift for you. And I, w- I want to say this. It's something I've had to continually remind myself. It might be true that they were responsible for the hurt, but I want you to know that God is responsible for the healing and you're responsible for the obedience it'll take to get there. They're responsible for what happened. Yes, they hurt you. They left you. They talked horrible things about you. They disappointed you. They abused you. Right? They are responsible. That is their conversation with God. And I pray they find grace and mercy and forgiveness and wholeness. That's their walk. So they're responsible for the pain. God's responsible for the healing. I mean, I, I, I read a lot of books on mental health, psychology, so it's all good and it's inspiring, but it's not Jesus. It often draws me back to him, but he ultimately is our healer. But something I've learned is that you are responsible for the obedience. You have to walk in daily trust. Again, they, they did the hurt, God does the healing, but it's your responsibility to do the work of obedience.